I'm going to work on one of my favorite uh, continued fractions, which is uh, square root of 97. Now, 97, square root of 97 is approximately equal to something like 9.8. Uh, and of course, you can check that just by multiplying 98 and 98. Uh, just really 7. 81 plus 7 is 88, then 6, 72 and 6, 78 is 4, yeah, so it's close, it's really a little more, it's like 98.5, uh, so it's about that, approximately. Uh, now I'm going to try and see if this eraser works for me. Uh, I have been trying to get used to this new tool. Oh, there we go. Incredible. I got it to work. That's great. This could be a little better than the other ways that I've done this. All right, so that means that A0 is 9 for this uh, continued fraction. Okay, so then let's do alpha 1. Alpha 1 is equal to 1 over square root of 97, that's your alpha 0, 9 square root of 97 minus 9. Multiply it by a conjugate. And what do we get? And this time I have a little more space because I changed my template. ninety seven minus eighty one which is equal to sixteen then we come in here and that's really our alpha one so alpha one let's clean it up square root of ninety seven this is alpha one plus nine divided by sixteen now this leads to an a one we said this is about 9, so 18 over 16 floor, you get a1 is equal to 1. Now I should start writing somewhere what the complete fraction is. And I think I'm going to do it down here. So square root of 97 is equal to 9. This is your a0. And we just did a1. And I'll just leave this lane open for the entire continued fraction. It's going to get pretty big. It's going to take up the whole screen all the way down. See, we have a little space down there. Perfect. Okay, so now let's do alpha 2. Alpha sub 2 is... We said alpha sub 1 was square root of 97 plus 9 divided by 16 and we said a sub 1 uh, I'm sorry we said a sub 0 yeah a sub 1 was 1 right, right so a sub 1 was 1 so this is really 16 over 16 and this equals 16 over square root of 97 minus 7. Let's do the multiply by the conjugate. Just square root of 97 plus 7. And this product is Ninety-seven minus forty-nine, which is equal to forty-eight. So this is equal to so alpha sub two is equal to square root of ninety-seven plus seven divided by three. And this is like nine, so sixteen over three, the floor of that 
So A2 is equal to 5. Okay. So then now we come over here and we do alpha sub 3. Alpha sub 3 is equal to, and we said alpha sub 2 was quarter of 97 plus 7 divided by 3. And A2 was 5, so this is 15 over 3. Okay. This is equal to 3 over square root of 97 minus 8. This is, we're still in alpha sub 3, right? So we multiply by a square root of 97 plus 8. This equals 3 times square root of 97 plus 8 divided by 97 minus 64, which equals 33. So we get alpha sub 3 is equal to, put a little arrow, square root of 97 plus 8 over 11. Now our a sub 3 is going to be equal to, so that's like 17 over 11, 1. Okay, that's the floor. Now let's remember, uh, because I'm working these out and not using my formulas explicitly all the time, this is what I'm really doing. I'm doing the, the floor function of alpha sub 3 of this number. Okay, so let's go back over here. And let's do a sub 4. Alpha sub 4 is square root of 97 plus 8 divided by 11. And we're going to subtract 1 from it. All right. Let's go over here. Square root of 97 plus 8 over 11. That's what we had. And we had a sub 1, I mean, I'm sorry, a sub 3 to equal 1. So we're subtracting, right, just to remind ourselves, this is alpha sub 4 is 1 over alpha sub 3 minus a sub 3. And this is square root of 97 minus 3. Now let's multiply by the conjugate. Feel like I want this to be a tad smaller. Yeah, there we go. That's better. 97 minus 9 is equal to 88. And so this is alpha sub 4. Are we right? Are we in the right neighborhood? Yeah. Alpha sub 4 is square root of 97 plus 3 divided by 8. And A4 is equal to 9, 12 over 8, 1. So can we continue? We have A3 and A4 already. And so we go in here and we say our A2 <coughs> was 5. Our A3 was 1, and we just did A4, and that is 1 as well. <clears throat> now, we still have not found where it repeats. Okay, so now we're going to go back here, and we're going to do alpha 5. Alpha sub 5 is... 1 over alpha sub 4, which is square root of 97 plus 3, divided by 8, right? Square root of 97 plus 3 divided by 8, and an A4 is equal to 1. Okay, this leads to 8, 
over minus 5. That's alpha sub 5. Let's do the conjugate. Still have not figured out how to do a good eraser in here. Maybe I did, but so far I haven't been having to erase that much. So this is square root of 97 plus 5 divided by 97 minus 25, which is equal to 72. And then we're in alpha 5, right? So alpha sub 5 is equal to square root of 97 plus 5 divided by 9. And a 5, 9, 14 is a 1 as well. Okay, so alpha sub 5 is square root of 97 plus 5 over 9. And we're going to put it in here and do alpha sub 6. Okay, so we said it was square root of 97 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5. Plus 3 is it is alpha sub 4. It's 5 divided by 9. And then we're going to subtract from it a5, which, which we said it was 1, which is 9 over 9. Okay, so this equals 9 over square root of 97 minus 4. Let's multiply it by its conjugate of the denominator. Uh, square root conjugate and this equals ninety seven minus sixteen, which is eighty one, and then this is alpha sub six. There we go. Alpha sub six is equal to square root of ninety seven plus four divided by 9, a sub 6, 13 over 9, 1, I'm flooring it, of course, so 4 and 9, let's go over here and do alpha sub 7, this is a really fun operation here, so 90, alpha 6 is 4 and 9, and we're subtracting a6, which we said it was 1. That's a minus. Sorry, folks. Ninety-seven minus 5. Is that right? Alpha 7. Conjugation time. calculation. I love these long calculations. Ninety seven minus twenty five, which is seventy two. And then this is alpha sub seven is square root of ninety seven plus five divided by eight. Right, and our A7, 14 over 8, is about 1 when you floor it. All right, and we said it was 5 and 8. 5 and 8. Alpha sub 8. 5 and 8. Minus 1, which is 8 over 8. Minus 3, let's do the conjugate. I think we're getting into a rhythm here. And this is 8 times square root of 97 plus 3. 
and then this is 97 minus 9, which is equal to 88. And we are doing alpha sub 8, which equals square root of 97 plus 3 divided by 11, and a sub 8 is equal to 9 plus 3 divided by so it's really 1 when you floor it. Okay, so 3 and 11, folks, for alpha sub 9. And it may be that we don't run out of space, which I keep doing with this new template that I'm using. So it was, we said 3 and 11, right? Let's verify. 3 and 11. Yep, 3 and 11. And a eight was one, so minus eleven over eleven. This is eleven over square root of ninety-seven minus eight. Conjugation time. is 97 minus 64, which is 33. And I think we got a 3 in the denominator out of this. Let's check where we are. We're in alpha 9. And this is square root of 97 plus 3 divided by 3, right? Are we at 3 and 3? This is alpha 9. No, 8, 8, 8, 8. This is an 8. This is an 8. See, it was not a 3. I made a mistake there. To be so careful with all these numbers. Now, 9 plus 8, 17 divided by 3. A9 is equal to 5. <clears throat> right? If it was 6, I would have to have 18 up here. 8 plus 9 is 17, not 18. Okay, so we're good. So it's 5, and it's square root of 9 plus 8 over 3. So let's do alpha sub 10. And I'm just going to take it all the way to the finish line before I write the additional terms up, upstairs. So alpha sub 9 was plus 8 over 3. And A9 is 5. Okay, so this is 3 over square root of 97 minus 7. I think so. And when you conjugate it, square root of 97 plus 7 equals 3 times square root of 97 plus 7 divided by 97 minus 49, which we know is 48. And then we get alpha sub 10 is equal to square root of 97 plus 7 divided by 16. Yeah. And a10 is equal to, so 9, yeah, a little over 9 plus 7 divided by 16, floor it, you get 1. Okay, so it's 7 and 16, let's go do alpha 11. Notice that we have not seen any repetition. Uh, let's just look at, the, at this number and this number. And I'm just going to read them out as, we, as I go up. 8, 3, 3, 11, 5, 8, 4, 9, 5, 9, 3, 8. 8, 11, 7, 3, 9, 16. Yeah, so we have not gotten any repetition. So we're still figuring out. Of course, I already know the answer, but uh, just something that you would check if you had done this yourself from scratch. So alpha sub 11 is 
square root of 97 plus 7 over 16, right? Is that what we did? 7, 16? Yeah. And the A10 was 1. So this is minus 16 over 16, which equals 7 into 16, 9? Yeah, that's 9. We're doing, yeah, 97 plus 9. This is the conjugate. And this is 16 times square root of 97 plus 9 divided by 97 minus 81 equals 16. And so this is square root of 97 plus 9. And that's a big one, friends, because that is like 9 plus 9, which is 18. So A sub 11 is 18. Now let's do alpha sub 12. We did not run out of space, so finally I have a template that's large enough for these very gigantic, lovely calculations. This is square root of 97 plus 9 minus 18, which is equal to square root of 97 minus 9. Now, this that's conjugated. equals 97 minus 81, which equals 16. So this is square root of 97 plus 9 over 16. And we said this would be A12 is equal to 1. Now, if we go back, this is alpha 1. Okay? So 9 and 16, let's remember that. Let's go all the way up and look at it. Okay, so if we go back, alpha 1 was square root of 97, 9 plus 16. So we finally have our period, and we're done. Because when I write all this out, so I'm going to write it all out, okay? And it's just going to get so big that I'm just going to keep going. It's not going to fit in the screen. A5 is 1. A6 is 1. A7 is 1. A8 is 1. A9 is 5. A10 is 1, and then the final one of the repeating part is 18. So if I draw, and of course we went all the way to alpha to A1, so this is all repeating. And I should write this somewhere down here in a neat fashion because there was no way that you could have read it correctly. So let's see if we can write it out back here, down here, in a lot smaller font. Okay, so square root of 97 is equal to 1, 5, and I think it's 6 ones. six ones, then a five, a one, and an 18, all repeated. And if you were to do this in a continued fraction, I don't see if I have, let me see if I have any space in here. Actually, I'm gonna zoom out just so that you see how much, how many beautiful calculations we did in this beautiful video. Okay, so if we review, go all the way back, this is the continued fraction for square root of 97. Okay, look at that. Look at all that. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So then now, let me see if I can open a file. Um, 
my template large. Oh, I'm sorry. Cancel. Let me save this. Uh, continue fraction. Square root of 97. Because then, since I've already saved it, then I can go in here and do a new. And, uh, I'm sorry, an open for my large template. And I'm going to have the pleasure of. Uh, drawing out this uh, continued fraction. Let's see if I... These, these files get big because I'm using a large canvas, a very large canvas. Okay, so let's do that. So how what would it look like if I wrote out this beautiful continued fraction? Well, it would look like this. Square root of 97 is equal to 9 plus A one a five and then this is the easy part because we just do a bunch of ones right six of them Did I do enough? I need one more. It's going to get tight in here. I want to keep it in the screen. So nine, one, five, six ones, and then a five, a one, and an 18. And we're done. 